So today I'm going to be talking about how to create an isometric drawing of this. So this drawing is based on my previous design where I showcased this conceptual cafe in the ground floor and with a residential on the upper floor. So this is based on the site analysis and the parameters and just responding to the site. So this is the result of the all the process that I have done so far. And then I started to develop, oh, of course, the uh, isometric drawing to investigate further my drawing. So all of this is in freehand drawing, but I had a few things that I set up. So I have used a dot isometric system. So th I did this in CAD, printed it out. This is scaled to uh, 1 to 200. So meaning for every dot, it is one meter in dimension. So you can see this through um, a translucent paper like so. So if I scale this, I'm going to be using a scale ruler. So and I am going to be placing say a scale bar this is the scale bar for this 1 to 200 in isometric drawing form so this now it looks very complex so um, i'm showing you a clip right now of how i started so i started with these the middle or the center of the circle or the center of the cylindrical volume of this I placed in some the dimensions first for the Z of uh, the levels for the floors and ceilings and of course the roof volume and then I started doing constructing the base of the circular volume and so I was constructing this ellipse that is of course within a squares so that uh, these are correctly illustrated in for the for this and of course i started extruding the entire volume and i have been adding in also the um, extended part which is on the right upper right area so i'm basing this on of course all of the floor plans and the section that I have already created so it this is more of like reflecting what I have done so far but this also gives me an opportunity to to test the, the orthographic drawings or the in, the in this case of course the section and the floor plans if my drawings are also correct and of course this gives me an opportunity to to look if there's sort of things that uh issues that would crop up that i haven't figured it out or i haven't seen while doing the orthographic drawings here this is more of the skeletal so it's a bit confusing and you could see the the very that's very much uh, a lot of lines you would actually be confused if you don't know where things are so i started in the middle or the center of the circle the that void and i started doing all the labelings or the levels lines from there so but then when i start constructing all these lines sort of like all of these are very confusing and we end up with this sort of diagram but of course i know the history of this because i i was the one who made it so if people try to read this it's, it's very confusing so then i placed in another another sheet over this a translucent sheet and therefore this is the result and you can see more clearly the outlines yeah? so this is what it is like in isometric you enter from here there's a sort of ramp so the ramp i started figuring out that uh, i was I was mistaken with just one one flight of ramp because the correct ratio for a ramp is 1 to 12 meaning for every one meter up there should be 12 meters in 
the length from the one point to the upper point so in the middle also is there is like at least one meter of landing flat for a wheelchair to actually get a rest so, so if person is wheelchair he or she has an ease of go of rolling up his or her wheelchair easily the configuration my first initial configuration here is sort of wrong so i started resketching this and looks like i need to take one of the parking slots out then further if you want this to to really matter and and to really know exactly i have to redo the entire thing again because i want it correctly done then having it built later on and, <clears throat> and realize that you know you have to correct certain things so right here uh, i can measure that uh, i have roughly about clear four point no three that's one two and three from the property line okay let's say and you know, i just push it to like four meters from the property no three meters from the property line so this all in all I need something like 13 meters right across of length that I need in order to satisfy the ramp for the handicap. If that's the first flight and I would then need one meter landing and then I need another meter here. If I start going like here from the parking lot, I go up. This is the ramp. That's the landing. And then I would need another meter here. Okay, so this is obviously extending. This is a good way to really investigate very quickly rather than just trying to do this in the computer. So this is two meters, two meters, one, two, two times two, that would be four meters so far. So obviously it's very long and um, I would need a lot of space here just for that ramp. So now I'm looking into other ways. So obviously it will not fit here. So I'm looking at now, what if I start doing the ramp from here? And then the ramp would be going up. So you don't see it uh, of evidently here. And then I would be eliminating that. I need 30 meters. The ramp for the handicap would be somewhere here. So this really is is, is really a, a good way of looking at it before you do it in a computer and it gives me more flexibility of doing this very quickly rather than extruding things or generating three-dimensional things i'm just going to start out with a cad drawing and this would be i have to do all the cad work and then only to find out that you know that thing is wrong so this was was really quickly done within an hour or so and then i was to do it in cad and i had did not realize that the ramp um, was wrong at the very start then i would have wasted like roughly about six to twelve hours worth of work trying to encode all of these lines and only to find out that you know i have something very wrong going on here so i can sketch it out already actually right here so the ramp is going to be there it ha would have a one meter railing up vertically and then i would have the ramp over here so when when i'm trying to do all of this of course I, I would then then i see that there's a problem now with the parking spaces that because i'm going to eat away some of the spaces which is one meter and that would be just give me about roughly about four meters here for the parking so generally a parking is 2.5 by 5 meters so the handicap would be something like 3.5 meters by 5 meters Right now, I'm, I'm, I have to reconfigure this or I have to figure out another way of for this ramp to work. If this gives me that very intuitive way of looking at things easily, but of course, uh, it easily is, is really relative because I have been, of course, practicing this sort of system for years and therefore it's something that I'm used to. And uh, it's something that, you know, the beginner should actually be practicing or getting getting used to so the computer is is very convenient uh, as some may see i do cad i do 3d and all the all the revit and uh 3ds max i i even teach those but 
this is something that when I'm designing is the most convenient tool uh, freehand drawing these are the, of course the tentative and so of course when you do all of this okay so here it is you start adding in cars representations of cars in the parking lot so another way of doing it is actually lowering the high, uh, ground level to the natural ground line uh, a bit lower of course the the thing to keep in mind there is your flooding prone levels during stormy weather in the area by lowering the um, level to the close to the ground another thing that uh, i haven't really solidified is of course it's the roofing and i am actually thinking that you know this thing is going to be with this very strange form no, rather than having this this joinery or, or different directions so this is going to be just one curving sort of volume very strange type of roofing form over here because this is very rightly because if um if we remember the orientation for this is something like here and uh yeah the north orientation and then you would have your winds coming in from the northeast and then you have your south southwest winds and this would conform nicely and even here if we have the winds coming in from this direction this would be somehow curving right here maybe I, I don't know yet so this is something that probably in in 3d form later on you can investigate further but if you can do already start your initial sketching here this would be a very strange okay so it's a semi thing and I was also wondering if I could put in a skylight right here because this is going to be over to this space so we can the, the lighting would be controlled by sort of like a, a blinder that could be horizontally oriented to cover a light if you don't need it during the daytime but during the daytime if you want some more light illuminating this air sort of area uh, that can be possible so a light actually would be effective from the window 2.4 meters and that this area could be a good place meant for a skylight maybe i need to reconfigure this better it's going to be somewhere there rather than here so this area will have a very effective natural lighting what happens next is of course another iteration of this now i can take out this sheet okay i have to be careful though of course further investigation is needed and of course you could illustrate cars in isometric here of course if you want a tutorial on how to do this um isometric in cars it's going to be here um the link is right now showing so what's next with this all right so i'm going to get another sheet and you can trace over later on on what you want to correct okay further investigation of course is how would the dimensions of and the shape of your skylight is going to be here and then correspondingly how you you're going to reconfigure your roofing volume i'm just finishing this up so i'm just writing here now the some of the levels so this ends this showcase of how to create a an isometric drawing and how to do it so do the skeletal first and then you can do the final line drawings later on well, on another sheet okay so thank you for listening